All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at Hack the Box Academy Tier 0 modules, which are free and allowed to be streamed and things like that. So we're going to look at file inclusion. Let's go ahead and view this. Oh, I think I actually have Burp Sweet on still. I do. I guess let's go ahead and turn that off, then we'll go ahead and we'll try this again. All right, and let's go ahead and we'll scroll down the skills assessment, and we're going to do the skills assessment at the bottom down here. All right, so we got our skills assessment down here. Okay, I don't want to show you guys the flag, so let me not scroll too fast down. There we go. Let me go ahead and grab that, and we're looking for flag.txt pretty much. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll control V this into here. We'll see what we find. So we have a website here, obviously, right? And we got to start looking for some type of local file inclusion, remote file inclusion, uh, maybe be able to read PHP, things like that, right? So we can see that we have this page equals about. So obviously right here is probably where we're going to start doing some local file inclusion, stuff like that, right? Uh, if we go ahead and take this and we use a tool called LFI map. So if I do a Python, LFI map.py, capital U, I'll throw that in there, right? HTTP, obviously. And then we'll go ahead and we'll make that pawn, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll make that, but we'll put pawn at the end. Now LFI map.py knows to try to set things at this pawn dot back here. And it's going to go ahead and try different um, LFI techniques. And one of the techniques it does try to do is a base64 uh, filter, right? So we do see that we do get index.php back, it looks like. So we have this resource index, right? So if we go ahead and we uh, click on that guy right there, holding control, it'll open up this page and we can see that we do get back our uh, base64 encoded uh, index.php. So let's go ahead and throw that into CyberChef. Once we get to CyberChef, we'll go ahead and throw that in there, and we'll say from base64, and we do see that we do get this doc type and everything else, right? Scrolling through here, though, we uh, see something interesting. If we keep going, let's see here. Oh, there we go. We see this echo, and it's going to reference ILF admin index.php, and that says admin next to it. That's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and grab that because that seems like another page there, right? So let's go ahead and head over to here, and we'll try to go there to that page. Oh, if I put it in correctly, that'll make my life much easier. There we go. So we'll head over to this page, and we see this chat log, service log, system log, and we see this log up here, right? Let's go and grab this guy, and we'll try to fuff him for maybe a local file inclusion or something like that. So we'll do a fuff, right? And pretty much, let's go and delete all this since we don't know anything about that yet, right? So let's go ahead and delete all that, like right there, equals fuzz, right? Tech W, user share, word list, sec list, fuzzing, LFI, and we're just going to do a quick, uh, let's see here, jahedix.txt, maybe? We'll stop that and we'll look at it. Uh, TACFS 2046. So we get rid of those file sizes. We do we do get some stuff back, right? Awesome. So we have this Etsy host like right here. So we can go ahead and try some of these. All right, let's go ahead and grab this Etsy host like right here. And we do see actually this one down here looks pretty good just because it's so short with the short uh, peer to peer slashes. Just so I don't have a bunch of crap in there. That's all. That's the only reason I'm doing that. So it looks like anything after maybe four peer to peer slashes. That we're getting something right. So there we go. Okay, so we do see. Okay, awesome. We do get that Etsy password right. And Etsy password, we can all see that we're using Nginx. All right. So that's a big part of this because we're going to have to go into that access or error log. Now let's go ahead and see if we can find that access or error log. So what we can utilize is a word list, right? We could try um, a uh, word list from maybe GitHub or something like that, right? Um, and we could also just try to maybe put those peer period slashes into there. So we'll go ahead and we will throw this in here, that whole thing. But we're going to say fuzz at the end here. All right, we're going to get rid of that last slash also because the word list will put those in. And what we'll do from here is we'll just try to call for a different file, maybe a uh, graceful security, Linux.txt. So we'll get rid of that FS and see what we got put in here. Okay, we'll do a uh, tech FS. It looks like 2046 actually again. We'll go ahead and do that. And we start getting some stuff back here. Awesome. So we do get this nginx.com like right there. And we also see the var log nginx access.log and var log nginx error.log. Okay, so now we now have a uh, local file inclusion and we can go ahead and go to these sites, which means that we should technically be able to do some log poisoning here 
and be able to poison those logs, right? And be able to uh, get um, get some type of a remote command execution. So let's go ahead and start a burp suite here. And let me make sure that my intercept is on. And I'll also go ahead and I'll cat uh, PHP command execution address bar because I have this nice little PHP system get command like right here. Make my life much easier. Right? And we'll go ahead and we'll send that off. He'll intercept it. Let's uh, send this to the repeater. Go into our repeater and we're going to go down to user agent and we're going to delete that user agent right there. And we're going to put in that PHP command that we had. And we'll go ahead and we'll send that off. Make sure we get some type of response here, hopefully. Okay, we do get a 200, okay? So let's go ahead and try to throw in here maybe and command equals cat Etsy password because that would be a nice big, you know, file like right there that we could look at. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom down here. And we do see that we do get Etsy password back, right? Awesome. So we do know that you can actually look at different files and now we have remote command execution. So let's go ahead and do a ls tech la on slash because it says that the flag is in slash flag.php. We'll go ahead and we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom down here. And we do see that there is a flag in there with a longer name dot text. So now all we have to do is just cat that, cat that flag, obviously with that slash. And we will go ahead and we will get that flag. So there's the LFI, uh, the local file inclusion. Um, Uh, skill assessment for Hack the Box Academy. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all liked it. And I'll talk to you all later.